Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafty and Curious. My name is Nicole and today I'm going to be showing you my five favorite knitting books. And make sure that you stay tuned until the end because I'm going to be giving a little bit of a review on a sixth bonus book that is probably the first knitting book I ever bought and I think a lot of you are really going to love it. So stay tuned till the end for that. With that being said, let's get into my number five favorite knitting book of all time. All right, coming in at number five, we've got an overall just everything you could possibly need to know about knitting, especially if you are a beginner type of book. And this is actually a book that I picked up recently within the last few months. So I really wish that I had this when I first started knitting about a decade ago, but I'm hoping that my sharing this book with you can at least help some of you beginner knitters to get a good collection of knitting books to help you out. So the book that I am talking about is DK's The Knitting Book. Now this guy is a hefty book. It's got everything in it. In this book you can find everything from beginner stitch dictionaries, all sorts of things about tools and fibers, different kinds of yarns, different kinds of projects. There's all sorts of casting on, casting off techniques. There's stuff in this book that even after 10 years of knitting I have never heard of and I just think that this is a great staple book to have in your collection for that reason. There's always something more to learn from this book. Getting into number four, we've got a little bit more of a specific technique based book, and that is the Knitted Cable Source Book. This book is super cool if you are interested in knitting cables. If you don't know, cables are basically these raised texture designs that you can do in your knitting to add interest. And honestly, this book is the coolest cable stitch dictionary that I've ever had. It's got all sorts of the kind of basic classic cables, so if you're just starting out it's a great place to have that learning take place, but it's also got these super intricate and crazy designs that I've never seen anything like this before in any other book. So for example in the beginning you know we've got some relatively regular run-of-the-mill beginner cables, but if we go towards the end of the book we get into some really interesting stuff, and some of it is quite geometric in nature. Something like that. Now, I've never seen something like that outside of this book, and I just think that it's super amazing. It's a really, really great book as well if you want to design some of your own cables, because it really takes you outside of the box. Looking at all these different types of patterns, there's just so much for your imagination to run wild with. Coming in at number three, we've got another specific technique related book, and that is The Very Easy Guide to Lace Knitting. Lace knitting is something that I've only taken up recently, and it has changed my life. I love lace knitting. It typically uses up a lot less yarn than a lot of other stitches, especially less yarn than cables, I've found out, and it just creates this beautiful texture and just there's so many different ways you can use it. You can use it on sweaters, you can use it on shawls, scarves, whatever you like. It is just so much fun. In learning how to do lace, aside from your basic all-around stitch dictionary, I found that this specific book is the easiest book to learn from when it comes to lace knitting. So inside of this book you've got kind of the beginner section where it just explains the basics of what can create holes and what can create different textural designs and things. And then you've got a few um, little projects scattered throughout based on the individual patterns that it's got in the book. And you get really beautiful stuff. So there's an example there. I think it's really beautiful. I absolutely love this book. I find myself going to this book over and over again. And if I remember correctly, it wasn't very expensive either, so if you are interested in learning lace knitting and you want to start with something simple, something that you can adapt into all sorts of different items and patterns, this is a great place to start. I use this book constantly. Coming in at number two, I have got my go-to stitched dictionary, or sometimes people will call these stitch bibles. The one that I chose to go with for this video was 750 knitting stitches. This is an incredible stitch dictionary. I started off my knitting journey with a different stitch dictionary, which I thought was the best one in existence. I disagree. This is the best stitch dictionary that I own and that I have seen ever. This guy has got 
everything you could want in it. It's got basic stitches, it's got textural stitches, twisted stitches, cable sections, lace sections, there's even a color work section. And if I remember correctly, I believe at the end, there's even, yep, there's even the edgings section, which is not something that you get in all stitch dictionaries. A lot of them will have a couple of edgings, but I've noticed that in this particular stitch dictionary, the edging and borders section is a lot larger and you get some really really interesting effects from that so if you are looking for a stitch dictionary to gift to someone or if you're looking for kind of that go-to stitch dictionary maybe you've got a few and you'd you'd like to just kind of bring your collection down into one book this is the one that i would highly highly recommend the other ones have really cool patterns and stuff in them but if you need one place to go to get a little bit of everything this is the book. All right, so coming into my number one favorite knitting book. Now this is my favorite knitting book at the moment. Sometimes I think these different books will switch places on me just as I'm doing different projects and things and find uses for them. But for the last few months, at least my absolute favorite book has been the Knitwear Design Workshop book. I was lucky enough to find this book for $4 in a used bookstore, and it is probably the best used bookstore find that I've ever had. It is incredible. It's exactly what it sounds like. This book is the book for people who want to learn the construction of garments and people who want to learn how to put out knitting patterns and things. Now, as somebody who just recently released her very first knitting pattern, there will be links in the description below to the Etsy shop and Ravelry page where I sell that. Uh, this book is really, really exciting for me. It goes through all sorts of things like how to shape different silhouettes for a dress or for a skirt or for a top a sweater. It goes through different neckline shapes and different sleeve shapes, different constructions, and it gives you all of the mathematical formulas to figure out how to shape your garment properly. And I just think that this is the most incredible resource. It's also got a really beautiful section in the back with a few staple projects that you can do that really show off the different things that this book teaches. I highly, highly recommend it. If you have a chance to get your hands on this book for a decent price, highly recommend that you pick up Knitwear Design Workshop. You will not regret it if this is something that you want to get into is designing knitwear patterns. This thing is invaluable. It's awesome. As I said, there would be a bonus book that I would share with you at the end of this video, and I am very excited to do that with you now. This is a book that I think I bought about 10 years ago. I remember reading it all throughout high school, like the nerd that I am. I would fall asleep with it next to me still today. Sometimes I fall asleep with it next to me because I'm just, I love reading this book so, so much. This one is a little bit different from the books that I've shown you so far in that this is not necessarily an instructional book. There is a little bit of that in here. There are a few patterns and things that you can follow in here, but this book is more so about the history and culture of knitting. So this one is called Knitting Around the World, and it's gorgeous. You can see that the uh, dust cover is quite destroyed on this one. And again, that's because I have been reading this book almost every night before bed for like 10 years. I don't know if this book is even available, if it's even in print anymore. If it is, go and grab one. It's amazing. If you like to learn about history and historical knitting or sewing or any of those things, this is a really, really great place to start with learning that history. I have always been a history nerd. I've always been a nonfiction nerd. And when I found out that there was a book that takes my love of history and my love of knitting and puts it together, my mind was blown and I dropped the money for this book. I think I was like 14 years old when I bought this book and it was a big purchase for me at the time and I just have never ever once regretted it. If you find this book anywhere, in a used bookstore, wherever, take advantage of finding this book. Just purchase it. Or if you know that there's somebody in your life who loves to knit and you see this book somewhere, purchase it. It is gorgeous. If I take you into this book a little bit, it basically starts with the history of knitting from different parts of the world. So if we go into chapter one, for example, we get chapter one, the Islamic world. So I believe that that is the region of the world that knitting is believed to have originated from. 
So if you look into what this section is actually talking about, it talks about some of the earliest examples that we have of knitting. In this case, they talk about a blue and white pair of patterned socks that were found in Egypt. Those were 12th century white and indigo cotton socks found in Egypt. So there's an example image of it there. So if you really like that kind of thing, if you want to learn a little bit more about the history of the craft, check this book out. It is incredible. Highly, highly recommend. I could go on and on for hours about it, but I won't. Your time is more precious than that. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. That is everything I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like and subscribe for future videos. I can see the analytics and I can see that a lot of people who watch these videos are not actually subscribed. Now what's that about? Go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you in the next one. Remember to stay crafty and to stay curious. Bye.